Portsmouth fire officials are investigating an early morning fire that left nine people without a home. It happened around four this morning on Carver Circle. That's in the Douglas Park area of the city. And that is where we find 10 on your side's Tamara Scott. And Tamara, what have you learned about the people displaced here? Well, thankfully, everyone made it out of this house here behind me with their lives. But one man we spoke with says if it was not for the quick thinking of his son, it would be a different story. Just after four Monday morning, nine residents in a Carver Circle home received a rude awakening. Well, I was laying there asleep and all of a sudden my son, I heard him holler, get up, get up. The house is on fire, and I'm like, what the world are you talking about? Fire officials say a fire started and spread through the three different homes in the building. Robert Gaskins was inside one of the three apartment homes. I use a sleep apnea machine, so I come out from under that and uh, went past his room and blazed, just blazing, just, just coming out. He says if his son had not warned him to get out, he would have lost his life. And I crawled crawl up under that sleep machine, I'm gone. So if I would have still been laying there asleep with that machine on my face, mask on my face, it probably would have how they found me too. He did make it out, and his daughter says that's not the only miracle. His room is not completely savage like the rest of the house. The whole entire house is savage, except my dad's room. On the grace of God, covered him. So they were able to save some memorabilia. We got a few pictures. Um, my dad was an ex-marine, so he has. We still have his gun and his sword from when he was a Marine, so we still have that. That was basically the things he asked us for. They say the home is a total loss, and so are most of their things, but their faith and strength in each other is what's holding them together. It's only God and his angels protected both of them, or everybody. Now, Robert did suffer some minor injuries to his head when he crawled out of the home, but no one else was injured, and officials are still investigating. In Portsmouth, Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.